Initial Configuration The initial configuration for this training shows a typical deployment of the Proxy One appliance in a network. First, connect Ethernet cables to the back of the box. Connect a network cable between the plug labeled Out, located on the far right of the network interface card on the Proxy One, and the firewall. Then, connect a network cable between the plug labeled In and the router or switch that connects to the internal network. Note, to prevent connectivity issues, use a crossover cable to connect the Proxy One to the appliance to the router. Use a patch cable if you are using a switch. Connect the null modem serial cable to between the Proxy One and a PC or a serial terminal in order to complete the initial configuration. Now, connect the two enclosed power cords into the power supply units on the back of the Proxy One and plug both cords into a power source. Next, verify that appliance is operational by checking the LED indicator lights on the front of the appliance. The system fault LED and the ID LED on the front panel light up for approximately 30 seconds and then turn off after initially being plugged in. The Proxy One is now powered on. When the power LED glows blue, this indicates that the power is on. When the hard disk LEDs glows blue, this indicates that the hard disk drives are operational. The system fault LED should be off, indicating that the appliance is functioning normally. After booting the appliance for the first time, you must configure the appliance using the Initial Configuration Wizard. First, establish a serial console connection to the Proxy One appliance using a terminal emulation software, such as HyperTerminal or PuTTY, using the settings seen here. BOD, 9600. Parity, none. Flow Control, none. Data Bits, 8. Stop Bits, 1. Once the connection is established, press the Enter button three times to start the initial configuration wizard. Next, the wizard asks, how will you deploy this appliance? For this training, we will deploy the appliance in line. Select option A to do this. Next, input an IP address for the Proxy One. Then the subnet mask information as appropriate to your network. The next step is to enter the default gateway address. Then enter the DNS server information. You will then enter the administrator ID and password for the appliance. Finally, verify all of the information entered. If all is correct, type Save. Then press Enter to save. After completing the initial configuration, you can access the Proxy One Management Console using a web browser. Enter the IP address you configured followed by the port number 8082. For example, https colon slash slash 172.31.12.1. Eight zero eight two. The Proxy One appliance ships with a 90-day trial period. To ensure uninterrupted service, you must purchase and apply a license before the expiration of the trial period. Your initial configuration is now complete.